It is raining good vibes at Carrington. Ahmad Diallo is winning big. Manuel Ugate is in training for the first time with the rest of the team. My name is Webb. Welcome to the United Hotspot. It is yet another update as we do count down to that important game against uh, Liverpool before the international break one that I hope and I believe we win this time around. Welcome aboard. Let's get into it now. Today has been a happy day. It's been a happy day at Carrington as uh, our new and, in my view, most important signing has uh, started training with his teammates. That is Manuel Ugarte right there. And uh, fitting in comfortably, you look at him now. That's his signature posture, I should say. That's how he folds himself when he's about to fall into a ball in the middle. He is indeed uh, the, 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 the guy who will shield his backline with his entire body. And trust you me, Andro Nana will be feeling relieved having Manuel Ugarte in. I'm hoping... I was hoping by some miracle we get to see him against Liverpool because we can't wait. But anyhow, at least from what I know, uh, he won't be ready to play against Liverpool. But that's him, uh, of course, uh, uh, training today, uh, earlier on in the day and getting stuck in there. It's already a full house, I should say. As we also count down to the return of, Ras of Rasmus Hoyland, Eric Ten Hag will soon have his complete starting eleven, his complete full squad for all the upcoming games. Now, Ugate... Uh, uh, joining in in the in the in the training is good because it's helping now Eric Ten Hag get to see the best formation that will bring out the best of his team. What is that formation now? We know what he loves, and you know him playing with that one single pivot. But for me, the most important thing about Ugarte's presence at Man United is being able now to completely release Bruno Fernandes and a bit of of uh, Kobe Maino because we know what they can do in terms of damage going forward. When they focus on trying to open up uh, the opponent, Kobe Maino and Bruno, I mean, are unstoppable because of how they use the ball when it's on, the, it's in the, uh, on their feet, because of how creative they are, because of how comfortable they, ha they are, because of how technical they are in terms of scanning and being able to see spaces and where to send the ball. So for me, if we do have good finishers like Joshua Zakzi and uh, and Rasmus Hoyland. We, got, we have exciting wingers like Ganacho and Ahmad. We've got uh, uh, Kobe and Bruno who can open up anyone and play those dangerous passes. I think a player like uh, Manuel Ugarte was always going to be needed. That player who is going to give them the confidence that defensively we are covered. You're sort of, don't worry about it. I've got you. Focus on opening up and destroying your opponent in the final third. For me, this is the most important signing. And because of the signing of Manuel Ugarte, because I, I do recall mentioning somewhere that I, was, I went into a debate with a colleague of mine back then. And we're saying, I think, I thought uh, the first season that Casemiro joined Man United, I thought he was the best or most impactful signing that Man United had post Sir Alex Ferguson. Because of how he single handedly lifted Man United. He made Eric Ten Hag look good in that first season. That's how important it is to have the right number six, fit and steady. Now, for me, Ugarte takes me back to the Casemiro we signed in the first season Casemiro joined. Now, the beauty with Ugarte is that he's in his prime age. We signed Casemiro with a few years left in him and he gave us one impeccable season. We saw what how good we'd be if we have such a good number six and he, of course, phased out. But Ugarte now is is doing what is the younger Casemiro, I should say. But in uh, but for me, he's even a, a, a better uh, profile of a number six for for Eric Ten Hag, because for him, his is completely defensive. He will not give you anything going forward. Like Casemiro will give you a killer you know, assist. He will give you uh, a goal here and there. He will try a shot on goal and stuff. Ugarte is strictly all about manning that street and falling into balls and bodies and knocking people is a beast in every sense of the word. So for me, he was always going to be the player who is going to enable us to see the best, the creativity. You see, we've been complaining about the lack of creativity in the team, not having enough of it because Bruno uh, was the only one trying to give it to us. Trust you me with Ugarte now, we are going to see, it's going to be a creativity uh, overload or galore at Man United. Trust me on that. So it's good to see him uh, training. And the body language, the facial expressions of the team shows you that he's, uh, 
enjoying himself, he's fitting in. I mean, this is all that he wanted. It's all that he wanted to play for Man United. It's very important uh, that uh, you sign a player who, who wants to play for you. So for me, a, 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 a big win. That's the best signing we've made, and we saved the best for last, like they say. Now, uh, today, uh, on, the same, on the same day, Ahmad Diallo has been voted our best uh, player uh, of the month of August. And you can, of course, ask why, because, I mean, he has been, he has been consistent. He scored uh, the, 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 our goal against Brighton, the opener. And then, you know, he played all the three games, been consistently showing, proving himself. And, uh, I mean, I think it's no surprise. I mean, his impact in the past games we've had has been clear from, from way back as well as uh, the preseason, even just not, not just this month. I think from the preseason to now, he has been, uh, you know, largely our best player. So I think it's, it's the first time, by the way, uh, in his career, he's, he's winning this award. So you see what we uh, prophesied on him, that this should be his season. Is beginning to manifest itself because he's truly, truly working for it uh, on it. And uh, the fans vote, voted him, uh, beating uh, Mazrawi, the new signing, and uh, Alejandro Ganacho. He got 53% of the first votes. Those included mine, obviously. So I, I think it's uh, it's a deserved uh, you know award, and it's the motivation we need to give some of these kids, as because these are young young players who need motivation to go into games and of course play with confidence. So for me, perfect motivation for him. Because I expect him to be an impact player, play, have a lot of impact on the game against Liverpool uh, tomorrow. So, uh, beautiful uh, stuff there. Uh, Alejandro Ganacho, too, uh, won. Alejandro Ganacho uh, won uh, for the best goal of the month of August uh, for his goal in the community ch uh, shield against Man City. Beautiful goal coming off the bench. I, I mean, it wasn't the most beautiful of goals he has scored. I think we all know uh, his best goal for United. Or perhaps in his career. In fact, he said it himself. Uh, but uh, uh, the, the goal he scored, the community shield, coming off the bench and, of course, getting that outside of the foot pass from Bruno and calmly sending it low, uh, you thought it was, uh, it was the, the, the whole, everything about the goal was beautiful. I think a deserved one uh, for, the, for that particular month. So you can see that our hot youngsters are, are, are being motivated. There is a lot of good energy, good vibes. Even Eric Ten Hag spoke about it. It is good vibes at Man United at Carrington, and this is something that has lacked. You can imagine the players we had. Rafael Varen has been uh, uh, left out of the Comos, uh, Como, whatever uh, you know, squad for the season. They said uh, because of injury. Now these are the players we are having, paying them over three hundred thousand pounds per week. But for the entire season, <laughs> Rafael Varen is going to play for Como, his new club, because of injuries. So imagine all this. Look at Lindelof. Look at you know Maguire. You want you want to feel for Eric Ten Hag and the issues he had. In the past season, we're hoping that uh, we don't get anywhere close to that. Even if we've started the season with a few injuries, that would worry us. I think I, I want to hope that it's you know just the normal, not the unusual, unbelievable, unexplainable ones we saw with Man United in the past season. Uh, the other thing, uh, finally, I would uh, talk about United is uh, the increase in creativity uh, from uh, the wingers, from the wings. That that's Ganacho, who has think has, has I think Ganacho has improved his decision making. And uh, may, maybe it's early days to say, but I think, honestly, in the few games we've seen uh, this uh, season, I think, uh, I, I feel like he's, by the day, uh, day by day, he looks like he's making better decisions. This is something that was lacking in his game. Uh, he always was guilty of making the wrong decisions, uh, shooting when he's supposed to assist or assisting when he's made. The obvious thing is to shoot. I thought, uh, I, I thought for me, that's an area, and consistently we want to see it. When he starts a game against Liverpool tomorrow, I'm hoping he starts because that's the logical thing to do. Ahmad, on the other side, uh, needs time to grow into his rhythm, to grow into the flow, and I think he's doing so. And with awards like this coming his way, it's uh, no doubt that it can, it can only get better. So for me, we are at a good place after the summer transfer window, good business done, a good game for us to end, uh, of course, uh, the business with and start the month uh, the, the month with as we go into uh, the, the 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 international break everything for me around us points to one thing that Liverpool and Arnie Slot who was who was slaughtered four goals to nothing as uh, I think Borussia Dortmund boss back then with Oregana Sosha I think uh, it's going to uh, it, it's going to uh, uh, happen again uh, we are going to uh, uh, slaughter him again uh, without a shadow of a doubt so. My prediction of the United game, again, uh, given what we are seeing happening around the club uh, now, uh, is that we are going to win this one. Again, I will emphasize my earlier prediction by three goals to one. Annie Slot, 
he he was at a uh, at at, at uh, I, I think it was uh, he was a coach of uh, under Uganda Social. I think it was he was uh, was it Fire or, or is Alkama or the team he brought at uh, he even spoke about it. The team he brought he brought at uh, at Old Trafford uh, that was uh, thumped for new. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you. My name is Web. Like, share, and uh, subscribe. I'll catch you later.